citizens of the world. We are anonymous. Your attention, please. Please stand by for a public safety announcement. If you see something suspicious, say something immediately. Report suspicious activity to your local police. A New Jersey city is going to start marking people with a red light before they might commit a crime. Every patrol car gets a live feed from all the city's surveillance cameras. FAST stands for Future Attribute Screening Technology. Future attributes, not the attributes you have now, the attributes you're going to have and will be punished for later. It's basically a piece of technology that would monitor every single aspect of your body to decide whether or not you could possibly commit a crime in the future. That voice you hear, your attention please, came from this street light. LED video screens and cameras, it even counts people for police. They can even take my picture. The system is also capable of recording conversations. Sensors attached to the top of patrol cars instantly read the license plates of all vehicles. A monitor shows a picture of the car owner. And it'll, you know, bring up Google Maps and give you a punch pin where the vehicle was spotted. New York City's police department is just one of many law enforcement agencies that also requires citizens to undergo an iris scan before being released from police custody. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security is developing new laser-based scanners that are going to be used to identify any chemical substance in or on your body from as far as 50 meters away. According to Homeland Security, the government plans to install these guys at airports, sports stadiums, police cars, and subways starting in 2013. If I have a large enough sample of your writing and your posting, I can take it and send a bot out using that information, finding every other post you ever did. A $2 billion data center collects, analyze, and store all forms of personal communication, online purchases, cell call, Google searches, and private messages. Now they are putting in chips into household appliances that oh. could then be tracked later. So your fridge, maybe your microwave, your stove, your dishwasher. The TSA has actually expanded its Viper program. The Viper operations, we're told, have been conducted around the country. And not just at transportation hubs, but at major sporting events in the streets and on the highways across America. Drones, they're not just for Yemen anymore. They're actually equipped with cameras and microphones. The technology is advanced enough that it could land on you use its needle and take a DNA sample or it could inject a micro tracking device under your skin. A 50 gigapixel camera. It's called Aware 2 Camera System. He hooked up little radios and microphones and all sorts of circuitry to these little bugs. Feds are now using these mobile x-ray vans and they can see through cars, walls and clothing. And the feds are looking at making everybody wear taser bracelets when they get on airplanes. They're not joking, they're looking at it and thought it was a very good idea. Now, you don't need probable cause, you don't need a warrant. All these devices go in everybody's home, so you're automatically a person of interest. There are provisions of the Patriot Act which have been implemented in secret. That is to say that you or I, as a citizen, uh, do not know what necessarily we're doing to break the law because they've made the actual violation secret. So get ready for the end of privacy. I feel safer already! Thank God, though, because uh, we didn't have enough of a police state. Uh, best to try to figure out crimes before they happen and punish people for it. This is Big Brother on steroids. Would you like to know more? 